For the past 10 days or so, the NFL's stated desire to eliminate helmet hits has been the talk of the sports world. Some have cried foul, others have said such hits are part of the game, and still others have claimed they're unavoidable. Well, they're not. There is instead a very simple way to eliminate such hits and all but guarantee total player cooperation. All the league would have to do is ban the face mask. Now, don't laugh. The game was played without face masks of any kind until the early 50s, and they've only been mandatory for a little more than three decades. Absent the protection a face mask affords, it is completely illogical to think that any player, no matter how aggressive, would try to lead with his head. Because while it's the helmet that does the damage, it is the face mask that emboldens the player. Would eliminating the face mask lead to a lot of broken noses? Absolutely. Would players routinely be getting stitches and split lips? No doubt. But better that guys lose a few teeth than their memories of ever playing the game at all. Is a face mask ban realistic? I don't know. I guess that depends on just how serious NFL honchos are about getting rid of helmet hits and reducing concussions. If they're serious, then they could view this as a serious option, as one of their own ones did. George Preston Marshall, the former owner of the Washington Redskins, actually suggested banning the face mask in the NFL because he said it would lead to more serious injuries than it was designed to prevent. That was back in 1955. It was a good idea then. It might be an even better one now.